my first horse bow I got as like an open box deal, the Farmington Stallion, and it was like 40 bucks off or so the regular price, which is like 180, so it was like 140 bucks or so, and it was 45 pounds. And I just kind of thought, uh, maybe I'll just deal with it, you know. Uh, everything I watched was don't start with like a heavy draw weight. Most of my bows you see up here are around 45 pounds. That's like my sweet spot. That's where I like to shoot. Um, I noticed the weight. The only thing that like I noticed that was like a drawback was my thumb. It, it hurt my thumb. You know, like that's where I felt the 45 pounds. Um, the first few sessions kind of sucked because I like, started hurting here. A part of it was not having a proper size thumb ring. Um, but other than that, no, I I'm, I'm I don't regret having, like, buying the first horse bow at 45 pounds, it being, like, the draw weight I pull. This is like a must-have on this this bow with such a wide arrow pass. Like, yeah, I can't imagine like not having this on here. This thing would be shredded and off and gone. This thing is so tiny. I saw in like one of uh, Charlie, the running archer's video, he complained about just like one session of shooting and this wearing out. So I didn't even give this one a chance. I just put this one on there before I started shooting. My other farming tin, I shot a few sessions with it and noticed it was wearing away pretty quickly. And then I slapped it on there too. I mean, if you could see the wear on that, like I don't shoot this bow all that much, but yeah, this is like a must have on this bow.
proper thumb ring size, that, that's really going to help. Um, the draw weight, I don't really think you need to go like a really light draw weight for your first horse bow if you're coming from recurve or long bow shooting. Um, I would personally, I'd recommend just go with your weight, go with the weight that you like to shoot, and then that saves you having to buy another horse bow after the fact. Um, maybe five pounds lighter, Ten, don't go half the weight. Like, if you shoot 50 pounds, don't buy a 25 pound horse bow, really, it's gonna be way too light. Um, I, I haven't shot one, but just going from this is 45, I shoot 45, and it works, works great. I wasn't held back by a higher draw weight. First shots of the day. Spent the day doing that. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> these are these. Autumn leaves. Uh, not bad. Felt pretty good. Some of these knocks on these arrows. They, I think there's a lot of deviation in this, and some are loose. I felt like they were slipping out of my string. Whenever I saw it that way, I, I just get really like paranoid about the arrow <laughs> when I pull back to full draw like it's gonna pop off the string whereas we release and it's happened to me before yes I don't like talking about that either <laughs> oh, I got like eh, not even like two minutes before the sun goes down I think that's it for today well I feel pretty good, but I really need to get more arrows under my belt every day. It's really tough with the sun going down so early up here in southern New England. Oh, peace, y'all. Have a good rest of your weekend.